guys welcome back to the channel I want to thank a bunch of you that uh, commented on the last video when we were talking about the pinion and there was a lateral movement in and out of the differential bucket um, there's a preload that's supposed to be on that and uh, after looking through the manual what I believe happened is there is a circlip inside the pinion assembly that possibly fell off, which is why it's moving forward and backward. But we're gonna pull it or attempt to pull it today. And uh, let me show you a little something here. So for some reason I was thinking it was gonna be a pain to pull out because I thought that this plate that attaches to the nose cone of the pinion was welded on and I, I guess I, at the time I built the snowcat I had enough forethought to think well that would be dumb to weld that on so I made a removable plate that actually attaches to the frame mount or the tub mount here so it's not going to be hopefully fingers crossed I say that now but it's not going to be as bad as uh, I thought it was I thought I was going to have to drop the whole differential down and take the tracks off and do all that stuff but I think you can actually pull all the there's eight bolts in the nose cone there that you can pull out and then you can just pull on the yoke with like some uh, Irwin clamps or something and it should pop right out but we'll see how difficult this is and this is probably going to be a short video because basically I have to pull that see what's going on in there and possibly order some parts I pro I'll probably put all new bearings and everything on it just because I have to pull it obviously a new seal again but um, hopefully that solves this problem once and for all, and uh, we can move on with some more snowcat adventures. I hate being down when we have good conditions like this because that means we can't go anywhere with the cat and test them out, and the seasons here are pretty short for winter. So anyhow, let's get started. As you can see, it looks like somebody's been here before. They used a uh, heli, -coil, heli coil insert that I'm gonna have to uh, clip off because it's a bit too long. So yeah, let's get this thing out and see what's going on. All right guys, I got the pinion assembly out, no problem. Cleaned it up a little bit. For those of you that were down in the comment section saying that this nut, this yoke nut right here, is how you preload the pinion. You couldn't be more wrong. The way this is set up, it has a castle nut and a cotter pin, and there is a minimal amount of torque placed on that. There is no crush sleeve or anything like that. And then what you end up with is inside here, you see there's a circlip. That's holding a bearing assembly in. And then on the top here is a press fit bearing. 
So, this is what I found when I took it apart. I was thinking that this circlip had fallen off. That's not the case. However, there is a minimal amount of movement here laterally or vertically as it sits. I want to say that that's less than eighth of an inch. And then if we go to the top bearing, we have something similar, but it's much less than eighth of an inch. So they spin freely and there's no noise. There's nothing going on. Same with this one. Um, you can actually see the balls here inside this assembly and there's no scarring, there's no big chunks of metal, there's nothing in there. All right guys, that circlip is actually seated. I don't have a pliers that, uh, I'll have to order a set of pliers big enough to get that off of there, it's huge. Um, I don't see anything else wrong with this pinion assembly, I'll, to be honest with you. I am not knowledgeable on these OC12s as much as I would like to be. I've read through the manual, manual several times, but I just don't know enough to know what's right and what's wrong. So, what I am going to do is I am going to give somebody else that's more knowledgeable than myself a call and um, He's been working on these things for years. I'm going to just ask him, you know, if it's okay to have a little bit of play in the in the bearings laterally like that. So, yeah, I don't know where else to go from here aside from buying new bearings and putting them on and getting the exact same results. But as you can see, as I'm showing you here, there's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with these assemblies. Everything's spinning the way it's supposed to. There's no grinding or metal chunks or any rough noises or anything in here so i want to say it's normal to have <clears throat> a little bit of in and out play on these but like i said i'm not knowledgeable enough to know for certain if that's the case so but other than that i think that's probably gonna be it for this episode guys if you like this episode give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed we'd love to have you as a subscriber and as always, you're going to want to stay tuned because I'm going to probably put this back together um, after I get information on what's okay and what's not okay. But this, uh, this OC12 only has 400 hours on it and the service interval on them is much, much further apart from that. So but other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other. And as always, I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.